Hello everyone, this is Kevin, your entrepreneur, and it is time to talk about DoorDash. And I'm finally going to give you the update that you've all wanted to know, and you've probably got an idea what this is about if you read the, the highlight, or the title, I should say. But, yes, it's true, DoorDash has deactivated me. Second time in a year. And no, like the last time, I didn't do anything wrong. So uh, let's, uh, this could potentially be a long one. So if you've got somewhere to be, go do it. You can come back later. Lighting's not the greatest, but I guess we'll just have to work with that. And let's talk about what happened. Uh, or actually, really, nothing happened. I was deactivated for no reason. Just like the last time. Except they made it harder for me to defend myself. Because when I was deactivated... I had a 4.6 star grade, which was very, very close to a 4.7. And I had a 92% completion rate. This is well above what they need to stay activated. And I got to activate anyway. So anyway, I don't know exactly what happened. Um, because, of course, they sent me an email, but I don't buy it. Here, here's what happened. A few weeks ago... We got stories, and you even saw like a video of it, that DoorDash was going to be deactivating drivers. They, they were just going to do a purge. Now, the reasons for why they were doing the purges in that video, and I'll leave a link to it below so you can watch that video, but basically, I warned people and said, just to give you a heads up, you're probably going to get deactivated this week, and I'm sorry if that's the case. You didn't do anything wrong, but I'm in a rare position where I have the email addresses and phone numbers for several key people who work at DoorDash. Now, they mostly work in Orange County, but at least one of them is more global than that. Now, I have never used these numbers or email addresses unless I absolutely had to, and they have been very good about responding to me. They really have. And th they seem to care about their jobs. And I, I don't get the impression that they actually hate the drivers, unlike everyone I've talked to, at like, like Uber. I get the sense that some of the people who work for DoorDash definitely care about their jobs. They care about us. I don't know how much they can actually do for us, but they they seem to be at least understanding how this is supposed to work. However, I have not contacted them in months. Since then, my closest contact, Spencer, he moved up. Well, not moved up. He actually moved out. He moved out of DoorDash, and he is the CEO of his own company, and I wish him all the success. So, whoever the current hiring manager in Orange County is, I don't have access to that person. But, I have the general manager of OC, Casey. I have his number and his email address, and I was in frequent contact with him. Well, I sent him a long email asking, is this true? Is, is this true? And, what's if it is, why is this what's happening? Because I... I would actually like to talk to you. I know I don't, I know I'm not an official DoorDash board member or whatever, but I think you're making a huge mistake. I don't think you understand the situation. And I got no response. A couple days later, I got an email saying that I was deactivated because I got a customer or restaurant complaint. I had not had a bad delivery for two weeks at that point. And I was wondering what this was about. So then I emailed Casey, and again, it's like, hey, just got deactivated. What's going on? I didn't do anything wrong. Still didn't get a response. Um, followed the steps that I actually advertise in one of my videos, one of my most popular videos, how to what to do if DoorDash deactivates you. And then it turns out they completely changed the process. They they completely changed the process. You can't you can't actually get reactivated now. The decision is final. And that's strange because in their own policy, it states that there is actually supposed to be an appeal process. And yet in the email, they say not to go to the office. They don't know anything and not to email them because the decision's final. But you don't know why you got deactivated and you can't defend yourself. It, th this is someone's livelihood. This is someone's job. For some people, they are doing this and they're trying to keep their family afloat and they just get deactivated for no reason whatsoever. And... Here's the fun thing. 
The first time I got deactivated, I got reactivated because some videos I posted on my other channel. Now those videos were so popular, that's what inspired me to make the Entrepreneur, which has now actually gotten more subscribers than that other channel in way less time. So I think it's fair to say I found my niche. I know about this stuff, I know how it works, I can talk about it fairly confidently. And it's interesting that they would actually do this again. In that video, I was still able to log on to the um, DoorDash app and show you what my stats were. Now I can't do that this time because DoorDash is taking it a step further. They have taken away your access to the app if you get deactivated, which means you can't check out the money that you made. You cannot make sure that you are gonna get paid whatever they owe you. That's illegal. That's illegal. They cannot keep information like that from you. So DoorDash, if you're watching this, and I know you're watching this actually, I know you're watching this because I'm gonna email all the important people I know this video and you're gonna watch it and you're gonna know that is illegal. You cannot keep that information from your independent contractors. That is not an employee contractor issue. That is a employment right. That is a working right. We need to be able to have a paper trail to ensure that we are getting paid what we owe. That said, I did get paid what I was owed. So I'm just throwing that out there. There's not gonna be a lawsuit or anything on that part. But because they took that out, I can't show you how good my grades my star grade and my acceptance rate were to make the case that I was a darn good driver. I was a very good driver or dasher. Yeah, dresser. So that's, so that's one thing. And then of course the timing of the situation is kind of odd because three weeks before this had happened, there was an issue with a restaurant. Now I took that video down briefly because I was getting comments like this on the video and you know unfortunately you have no idea how serious trolls are so i just kind of took it down just to um protect my job so to speak <laughs> and some of those trolls will probably say oh we got you fired trust me i don't think it was you if that if it was based on that video this would have happened a lot sooner so the video is back up and uh i have to say if that is the excuse i decided to use i want to mention i brought it to their attention because I felt like I was wronged. And if they did their investigation and they asked the restaurant what had happened and got their side of the story and then didn't call me back, well, that's still not, not a fair deactivation because again, no one gets to share their side of the story and they need to be able to share their side of the story. Like that is just not right and it it's terrible. But I don't think that's what it was. I think whether it's because I asked or because they just decided to be part of the purge, I got deactivated from DoorDash because I was not accepting the less than $10 orders. Which probably bothers DoorDash more now that I know they are actually charging a small order fee. They're just not giving it to any of the drivers. They're collecting that themselves as if they're the ones being inconvenienced by a you know, bean burrito order only from Taco Bell. Like, it's stupid and here and the reason i held off on making this video because i definitely did have plans for doordash i had big plans for them on this channel but i wanted to make sure that what was happening is what i assumed was happening and i have gotten email after email from people saying i just got deactivated and i had a 4.9 star grade and i had 90 percent acceptance rate and it's like it didn't make any sense and i can't even go into the app to check and show you guys it's so it's madness DoorDash, they 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 probably I don't know what happened, but they decided they want to get rid of drivers or dashers. They want to cut out their livelihood, and this is what this is how they do it. And uh, I I'm sorry, I I cannot deal with that. I I cannot accept that. Now I might I don't know if I would have done this had I not been deactivated. I'm gonna be honest. I'm human. I mean. You know that whole don't bite the hand that feeds you? I had money to make too. I it might have this might have come out slightly differently if I was still working for DoorDash. But since they have deactivated me a second time, since they will not talk to me, since they will not respond to my emails, I think it's time to go on a full out frontal assault on DoorDash. And DoorDash, since you're watching this, I'm gonna tell you right now. Reactivating me is not gonna make this go away. You are gonna have to do 
way, way more if you want these videos to go away. And what am I talking about? Well, we're going to start a new show on this channel. It's going to be every Tuesday starting, um, I'm going to say in two weeks, two weeks. And it's going to be, I'll think of a clever name for, 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 for it, but basically we're, I'm going to be making videos and we're going to be bringing DoorDash some very, very much needed public humiliation. I have saved every single chat transcript I've had with DoorDash since the, um, since the first deactivation, because I don't trust them. You don't deactivate someone for having a slight argument with someone on customer service. You just do not. You not. You do not deactivate someone who has a 4.94 star rating and a 99. No, not. It was a whole 100% acceptance rate. You do not do that. And so I knew that if they were willing to do it at that star rating, they would probably be willing to do it at a lower one. And that's exactly what happened. So, I have saved every chat transcript available since then. And I have a lot of really embarrassing Dasher support emails to show. Also, over the months, I've been getting emails from people who have had their own altercations with Dasher support and DoorDash. And some of them are so much worse than mine. Do you know that there is act I have an email. I have an actual email, and this will be an episode. This will be an episode, DoorDash. You cannot stop this one from happening where someone was so distraught over being deactivated by DoorDash that she told the Dasher support person, I am going to kill myself tonight. And rather than tell, rather than tell the person, we're going to reactivate you right now under until further review or call the cops or do something to get a hold of what was potentially a very dangerous situation. Because once someone tells you that, that is your responsibility. That is totally on you. Dasher Support said, Sandra, this this is not how you handle things. We wish you the best of luck in the future. And they left the chat. That woman took a whole bottle of sleeping pills that night. And had... Her friend not got concerned because of a cryptic Facebook post that was posted and not gone to check up on her. She might have been gone the next morning. Yep. That happened. That totally happened. And I will share that with you. I will. Um, and by the way, her name's not Sandra. I changed that name for um, privacy concerns. But if you want to know what the, da the Dasher support person name was, it was apparently Heather. I say apparently because you're never sure. I suspect that support is outsourced overseas and they're just using American names. But this is what DoorDash does. And I have dozens, dozens of stories like this. And we're going to share them. We're going to share them every Tuesday. And I'm also going to ask you viewers for your help on this. I do tell you to save every chat transcript, every email conversation you have with DoorDash. If you want to get those stories out there, you now have a venue to do it. You can email them to me. I'm going to be setting up a separate email address just for this one show. And your name will be kept anonymous. You have to provide the chat transcripts and the emails, but I will alter them so that your identity is safe. We will not let DoorDash know that you're sharing these secrets with me. And I will share them with the world. And I will share the videos with the higher-ups at DoorDash. And DoorDash, these videos will not stop. They are not going to stop. I mean, you're going to have to offer me a heck of a lot of money to get me to stop, or you're going to have to change your policy. And trust me, I would seriously prefer the latter this and i'm pretty determined to do this now in all fairness for journalistic integrity when news comes up of something the doordash is doing is positive i will report it as positive i have to do it and 
the frustrating thing about not being on DoorDash is that you really can make a lot of money on DoorDash. I do believe that. It has always been the most lucrative. So it's frustrating to see people just losing their jobs like this because this was a great replacement for Uber for a lot of people. It was a great thing to do if you couldn't do Uber because you had tool of a car or something. And yes, me being deactivated a second time means I have a particular bone to pick with them. And you can comment on that. I kn I understand fully, but that's how, what's going to be. So so yeah, I'm I am officially no longer a dasher. And um, here and here's one of the reasons why I tell you beyond everything, I will not go under because of this. I will not. In fact, if anything, maybe the videos that I make on DoorDash will make more money than actually working for DoorDash. So it might even work out better in the long run. I don't know. But this company needs to be stopped. Or at the very least, they need to be shamed and ridiculed very publicly. And I'm going to do it. And I want your guys' help. And you will be kept anonymous. Um, the show is going to premiere in like two weeks. I wish I could do it this week, but I can't. I need to make some preparations. And that's a thing where it's like, I want to film at least three or four episodes before I start start uploading them. So on the off chance I have some weeks where I can't upload a new episode, there will be a buffer. And I'm going to keep my DoorDash shirt just for the show. Because what better way to make this all the more hurt, I suppose. Hurt? Ironic? I don't know. Then being an official DoorDash Dasher doing these videos. Ooh. I might even wear a DoorDash cap. Just because I can. Well, anyway, you y'all wanted the update. There's the update. That's what we're gonna be doing. And uh for the record, I'm also gonna be making the information how you guys can contact these DoorDash officials public as well. They're not gonna get away with this. They will not get away with this. If if Uber learned anything, hell has no wrath like the internet. Well, DoorDash, I don't know what I can do. I don't know how much damage I'm going to do, but I will say this. My DoorDash videos are consistently some of the highest rated and most viewed videos out there. And now they're going to be dedicated to tearing you down. I thought you would have learned your lesson. I really did. Okay, so um, anyway, what do you folks think? I'm sure you think a lot of things. You probably think that's terrible. You probably think I deserved it. You probably think I'm arrogant. Some of you are probably thinking, go ahead, get them, get those SOBs. Whatever you feel, comment below. Just remember to flame responsibly and to like, favorite, share, subscribe.